In this video, I want to convince you to put aside those New Year's resolutions and start New Year's revolutions. So let's jump right in. So I'm not much of one for setting New Year's resolutions. I really have never enjoyed doing that, but um, you know, I know a lot of people do it, and then there's the whole joke that, you know, the gyms fill up on January 1st, and by January the 15th, they're empty again. So I looked up a definition and was thinking about how to uh, couch this video, and, and I came up with the word New Year's revolution. Listen to this definition. A sudden and complete and marked change in something. Let those three words really marinate in your head for a minute. Sudden, complete, and marked. That is really the kind of change that I think you want to make and the kind of change I want to encourage you to make and what brought you this video. So I've got three ideas to share with you and whether you're watching this video on New Year's Eve or the 4th of July, you can start these practices right away and apply them to your life. And I believe that you will find that sudden, complete, and marked change that you're looking for. So the first idea is you have to overcome your fears and limiting beliefs. You have to learn to do things scared. If I can do it, and I have, and I continue to do that every day, so can you. Zig Ziglar said it this way, anything worth doing is worth doing poorly until you can learn to do it well. So you have to start scared. It's okay to do it poorly. And you know, the biggest thing that I think we all grapple with is the comparison trap. We look at someone who's doing something that we want to do and think that if we can't do it as well as they can, we shouldn't even start. And that's just flatly wrong because most people that are doing things well started and did it poorly, some for many, many years before they learned to do it well. So avoid the comparison trap, start now, and overcome your fears and limiting beliefs. Okay, second idea. You have to decide that you're going to get better instead of being bitter. Now listen, we've all been through a lot in 2020. We've all had to overcome a lot of challenges, and some of us I realize I've lost loved ones, lost jobs, lost a lot of things. But the question is, what are you going to learn from it? What lessons have you learned this year that are going to make you better in 2021 instead of starting the year bitter? And so what have you been putting off for too long? What is the thing, what is the revolution you need to start today? It's something you've known you needed to do for a long time and you keep putting it off. Do that thing and start today. Now listen, I've got a link in the notes below. I open up two spots on my calendar each week for a strategy session where I have a powerful conversation one-on-one -on -one with someone and we talk about where you are in your life right now and where you want to go and we identify the gaps and and we come up with a plan for how you can bridge the gap from where you are to where you want to be where you want to be and I invite you to book one of those slots right now it is a powerful conversation it's about an hour long i promise you will come away with some tools and ideas that you can implement right away to begin to get better and get over being better. And finally, number three, find a person or a group of people that inspire you and motivate you. Now, this could be applicable no matter what you do. You know, I am an avid golfer. I love to play golf. I've been playing my whole life. Unfortunately, I only get to play a few times, a handful of times a year. So when I go play, I have a couple groups of guys that I play with. And I'm always wanting to play with someone that's better than I am. Why? Because they inspire me to be better, to do better, to 
hit the ball farther, to hit the ball more accurately. I want to match my game to their game. I don't want to be the guy that's dragging behind. So how can that apply to you, whether it's uh, professionally, personally, habits you're trying to form? Find a group of people that are doing something that you really admire that will help bring you along <clears throat> when you start hanging with them. Um, you know, you're not, uh, the other thing I would encourage you to do by finding this group of people is you have to get vulnerable with people. You're not really committed until you're willing to admit, hey, I'm struggling here. I need help here. And it takes a long time maybe to find that one person or that one group that you can open up with and be vulnerable. But once you do that, then you have that group on your side to encourage you to come alongside you and to inspire you to be the best version of yourself. Did you get value out of this video? I really hope so because I want you, I don't care again if this is January, March, July, August, December, you can start today and start making a difference in your life and change those resolutions to a revolution in your life. I want that for you. You want that for you. Take these three ideas and get started. And I would appreciate if you would like and comment below, which of these things do you need to do right now? What most inspires you by watching this video? I hope that you'll start 2021 with the mindset that you are going to get those sudden, complete, and mark changes in your lives. Put aside those ideas or those New Year's resolutions that you know you're not going to keep. Instead, resolve to change for the better and permanently, completely marked and sudden. Start today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.